best-selling author is back anthony l kelly with his award winning books saving miss caroline michi and jaja the link is at the top line of the description box if you're a reader like me trust me you will not be disappointed once again the link is at the top line of the description box go claim your copy right now all right it seems like over the last few days since kanye shook up the world it seems like all celebrities and really a lot of black celebrities have been turning against kanye now we all know about the drink champs interview being deleted we know nori apologized a lot of people didn't agree with his apology but nevertheless he did it well here's a clip right here right that i think from the drink champs interview that i think is one of the clips one of the instances right that got the interview taken down i want to play the clip in its entirety of what kanye said and then I want to kind of compare and contrast and really just give the unadulterated truth about the whole situation what's going on with Kanye West, right? It's your brother, oh God, man. Hey, this video is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. HipHopUN.com is our official website. Go to the top line of the description box and go check the website out. All right, here's the clip that I think I got the interview. Oh, I talked for. about Rick Rubin. I talked about the 808. The Cypress is real. <laughs> Now, now, why, 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 I'm gonna say some anti Semitic shit. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. I'm gonna kill this nigga. That's the real anti Semitic shit that the Jewish people get paid off of. I don't know what this opioid thing, man, is. They seem like they're, they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup and. It's the most dangerous, it's the most dangerous thing, and... thing that's facing um, um, our society. Are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that? But I, I, I have to. I, I can't give up on people. But I'm saying that's hypocritical, though. You're, you're saying um, the it's opportunistic. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got people to feed, feed. <laughs> um, oh, I got a Leo. I got a I got a business to run. <laughs> you're gonna make Dame Dash take this clip and call you a culture vulture. Shout out to Ali from the Saint Lunatics. I actually seen this clip on his Instagram, and when I seen it, I put the eyes up. I'm like, oh, I gotta talk about this. Because this is what this really, this is this is what we're talking about, right? Let me break it down for people. Here, here's our side of the argument, right? Kanye West has said, "I'm a, I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm a f his, I'm a take his f his b, I'm a kill this n, right?" What he's saying is that probably I don't want to really put a percentage on, it, but at least 65, 70 percent of the rap songs talk about the destruction of black people whether it's whoever we don't got to go down the line of artists we can talk about the artists all day all you gotta do is go turn on itunes or title and listen to one of these artists out here and you'll hear nothing but black destruction what kanye west just said let me break this down for you guys right is that a percentage i don't know what percentage but a percentage you know of the labels are owned by people that call themselves jewish people right this is what he's saying. And that they actually benefit, that they benefit wholesale off of this type of music. Now, the rapper benefits as well. You got rappers out here getting rich with Rollies and Richard Millies and Cuban Links and Miami on the boats and stuff. But the real wealth is going to the execs, right? Because the execs are funding these the operation they're putting the artists out there right they're putting they're opening up distribution streams they're putting marketing dollars behind these people they're putting everything out there to make these people successful opening up venues for them to go do shows at all of that's going to be there because the artists did not have the money to put up so the label puts up the money and therefore they take the lion's share of the profit right the issue comes in where when people start hurling out Oh, you're this and you're that. And we say, okay, you saying I'm anti-Semitic. Okay, right? But if you're behind, if you're funding rappers that push an anti-black message and Kanye said here's some anti-Semitic stuff right here, I'm gonna say, but if you're if you're if you're funding something anti-black, right? You're funding it wholesale 
what do we call you? Is there a word for you? Now, the other clip. Yeah, Leo Cohen. And be in this video, one of them type of videos that may get, you know, age restricted and may get taken down. So you guys got to do your job to share this joint. Share this joint. You know what I mean? Hit the like button. Share it, hit the like button, engage the content, and this video will go viral, right? Charlemagne asking him, Envy asking him, oh, you know, at the, about the opioid crisis and how are you signing rappers that promote this? What did he say? First, he said, I'm not, I can't give up on people. What makes you think, okay, he's trying to rehabilitate the rapper. Then he comes out and says, I got businesses. Yeah, it's, it's a little, you know, I, I, so it's pretty much, in other words, like, yeah, I get it, it's wrong, but I got to eat. I gotta feed my family. That's what he said. I'm not making this stuff up. That's interview. That interview has been out. We have been talked about it, but it's pretty clear when that clip was put out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, what he said, right? So, crucify me all you want. Take it back over to Kanye West. See, Kanye West is ruffling feathers. Kanye West is saying what you don't suppose. You ain't supposed to point out the obvious. Don't you dare do that. It's almost like, right, you go into your job, right, wherever you work at. Just picture, you, you might have a UPS worker on here, a police officer, a teacher. You go into your direct boss that you know got the power to fire you and, 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 and you know, hurt your way of living. And you go point at him and tell him all the wrong that they're doing. Like, you you doing wrong, you doing this, you doing that, and, yada, yada, and, and you know you're right, but you don't say that. To the boss, the one that's controlling the money, don't bite the hand that feeds you, right? So this is the dichotomy that's going on. Then you got all these house, you know what, that are attacking Kanye West. I seen um Ebro's joint, his show on Apple, and the chick on there, and they they talking about they trying to get Nori to 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 throw Kanye under the bus, like you know Kanye's this Kanye. You know, he's this, he's a nut. Let him be his nut. But we, he, can, he can say some nutty stuff. I get it. But we cannot sit up here and say that some of the stuff he didn't say wasn't 100% true. We're just scared to admit it because people are too scared to lose anything. See, that's the difference between freedom fighters of the past. Stokely, you know, Stokely Carmichael's, you know, uh, um, Fred Hampton's and... You know, we can go all the way, uh, uh, Kwame Ture. We can go all the way down the list of people who understood Malcolm X's that, okay, this, I got to speak up about this. Yeah, it could get a bullet in my, it can get me killed and get me put in jail, but I got to speak truth to power. And if we're talking about Christianity, we're talking about Islam, your prophets, and the prophets in the Bible, what did they do? Let's even go back to Je the Jesus story. What happened with the Jesus story, right? Let's just go back to this. He was crucified. Why? 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 So this is why I said, like, you know, it's like things continue to, history continues to repeat and continues to play itself over and over again. And I believe, and I'm going to get to Nori in a second. I believe that this is one of the reasons one of the reasons why the interview was taken down because, first and foremost, look. Let's look at Drink Champs, right? Yeah, Diddy owns it, right? But he got friends. His friends may be of all different type of descent. Who knows who's you know who knows who's funding what behind the scenes? Who knows what agreements he has with who to get on where? Who knows? Who knows? The first thing Nori said on Apple interview with Ebro in the desk, it was like, my Jewish friends called me, my black friends called me, right? So, it's nothing wrong with that, right? You can have, I, I, I told a story where I grew up, my, one of my first best friends when I, when I moved to a neighborhood was a Jewish kid. We was tight, we grew apart, but we was tight, and I would have fought for him at that type point in time. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't have nothing against nobody, but you have to... I think point out the obvious, and I'm just trying to bring clarification to what Kanye West is saying. Now, if you could show somebody the clear clear examples of something, you can't say that he's 100% wrong. Some of the stuff I don't rock with, it was just nutty. 
But some of the stuff he's pointing out obvious stuff like, oh, snap. Like, yo, that's, that's just real talk. We need to know why. Right. And somebody can answer this in the comments. These execs promote fun. Dis distribute. Right. See, if this was a uh, Rico case, the execs would be going down because they're not only funding, they're distributing it. Right. They're keeping up and, and they keep on adding more and more pieces to the puzzle. We're going to sign 10 rappers and push them out there. And the message is kill, 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 destroy, 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 take his B, F his B, pop this drug, kill the op. That's the message. That's the message. Who's promoting it? Who's funding that? Do, or do they not get any culpability, any blame? Just because you don't, per se, see them and they're up in the offices with the, you know, suits on and you never get to see them, but they get to deposit them checks in their pocket while we die wholesale, right? Die wholesale. But again, it's on us at the end of the day. Until we stand up and say enough is enough, you can't expect anyone else to treat you a different way. Until you stand up and say, no, man, I'm tired of this mess, man. We, we, we know. Balenciaga dropped them. F Balenciaga. It should be fuck Balenciaga then. Oh, you dropped yay? All right. We ain't buying no Balenciaga. But I guarantee you, guarantee you, thousands of people bought Balenciaga today. The Balenci's. Gotta get my Balenci's. Them joints uncomfortable anyway. One of them pair of sneakers that I had. Two of them I had. It's uncomfortable as hell. I rock some Pum Pum with the most comfortable sneaker I ever owned. And Adidas. Right? It should be like, alright, you know, okay, oh yeah, JP Morgan. Alright, yo, we all pulling our money out of there. Y'all want to mess with my man? Yeah. See, we got to stand together on some things. I get it. You don't agree with Kanye West. But guess what? Other groups of people don't agree. With other groups of people all the time, but they stand firm on an agenda because they understand what power is, man. Y'all don't get it, bro. Oh, yeah, I didn't say this. Oh, let's, let's cancel. Let's throw them away. But somebody else, okay, you said this. I'm reprimanding, but dog, okay, we got to stick together on this, though. We ain't sticking together on nothing, man. Nothing. I'm going to fall back. I ain't trying to be preachy. I'm just giving you the real. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said, I got to do these joints, man, face-to-face -face with you guys. And uh, we really got to get it in, man. We really got to get it in, fam. But it's your brother Ogot, man. I appreciate y'all. You have a good, good night. Like I said, you got to share the video. Take a second to share it on Facebook. Share it on your timeline. If you got Twitter, share it on Twitter, right? Take the time to do it. Hit the like button. If YouTube sees that you engage in this content, they'll push the video. So you have to... Hit the like button and share it. Hit the like button and share it. It takes 10 seconds to do both of those things, man. But nevertheless, I appreciate you guys listening. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep on rocking out, man. This video is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. HipHopTheLittleUN.com is our official website. Go check it out. Link is at the top line of the description. Peace.